everybody welcome to the icrt vlog this is for the first week of september we're trying something new where we kind of give you a quick overview of some of the most interesting stories that happen over the week they're not necessarily newsy stories but there are things that you know you might be interested in uh, might have to do with entertainment with lifestyle more like casual stories so have a look and see what you think. Today we're starting off with a more of a newsy story. A lot of students in Taipei City, elementary school students, are going to be receiving a personal safety alarm device. What that means is they get a little, a little egg-shaped device and then they wear it on their person, around their neck or like Velcro, Velcro strapped onto their backpacks, and then they can pull it and it makes this really loud sound in case you know, there's an emergency or they get attacked. It's a little bit crazy that elementary school students need this kind of thing, but uh, child safety has been a major issue in Taiwan. Uh, we know of a lot of attacks on children or attempted attacks, and so this is something that's necessary. This little egg thing I've watched the video for, like how to use it, if you pull the strap, it makes an alarm sound that is 120 decibels loud, and that is like 10 above the average human threshold for pain so it's just loud enough to be painful so hopefully that'll keep some children safe okay moving on to happier news there is actually a coffee shop a cafe in Taidong that's getting a lot of attention it's in Luye Township and it's actually run by a prison or the inmates of a prison and I know that that sounds a little bit that sounds a little bit unusual, but um, this person cafe has actually been getting a lot of attention and people are really enjoying the coffee there. So they s established this cafe in 1976 and basically the inmates learn how to grow the coffee and how to, you know, uh, roast the beans and then how to actually make and press the coffee. And a lot of people have said that the coffee is really good. You would think like it's a really dark and depressing place possibly just because that's how you usually think of prisons. But actually I've looked at pictures and it's a European style building. So European style building, all white walls, and it's like surrounded by grassy fields. If you want to try something different, you could head down to Taidong for, you know, a casual tour and have some coffee. Oh, and they also uh, serve pineapple cakes and they serve other desserts as well. Um, speaking of food, uh, there's this new trend going on. I don't know if you've heard of it, uh, but there's a shop in Taipei and they're selling like popular breakfast shop items like um, dan bing and lobo gao but they're doing something different with the turnip cakes and the scallion pancakes with egg turnip cake is their most famous dish and they basically take the turnip cake and they you know pan fry it like usual but they'll mash it up and they'll like squish it and then they'll break an egg over it and then they'll put cheese on it and they call this lobo gao Dan, which is like a mean thing to say in Chinese, but it's really, really popular. And they sell like 50 or 60 every day. And then the other thing that they do is they take a scallion pancake and then they add um, pi dan, thousand year old egg into it. So they, instead of using like a regular egg, they'll use thousand year old egg. And then they'll also add cheese. So that's something you might want to try as well. Okay, and then this last news story that I saw that I thought was really funny online. This woman, she buys something online. She buys a phone case and she spends 950 NT and then a week later she gets the package and she opens the pot by the package and it is a bottle of Viagra she posted this online and she posted her line conversation with the the the, the seller of the product and you know they had it all come to then the the person who was selling said there was no problem and then it became Viagra. So a lot of people online who responded to her, they said, you know, you got a really good deal because the case cost 950 NT, but a regular uh, uh, authorized bottle of Viagra for 30 pills a bottle, it costs 4,680 NT. So there you go. Anyway, so those are the stories for this week. Uh, write in and let us know if you missed something interesting or if you want to hear something else.